right, uh, welcome to the Eric J. The Great Podcast Show. Uh, we got a special guest on the sh uh, show today. Uh, Jaden, how you doing? Great. How about you? Hey, I'm doing all right. So for uh, for everybody out there, uh, Jaden, uh, you're 12 years old, right? Yep. Yeah, he's 12 years old. He's a uh, a real uh, great basketball player for his age. And we're just going to get into his whole story of uh, what he has going on as far as his uh, basketball accolades and uh, where he's from. So uh, first off, uh, just tell the people uh, where you're from. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. And uh, where, where do you currently stay right now? In Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And uh, what made you uh, what made you want to play play basketball? You know, it's a lot of different sports. What made you choose basketball? Well, really, I just seen a lot of my family members play it when I was younger, so I just started playing it, and I was good at it. So I just kept going. Okay. And what age did you start playing basketball? Around three. Three. Uh, so when did you start playing organized? Like AU, probably around when I was eight, probably. Okay. So, uh, uh, you played for uh Ray John Rondo's team, right? Yep. So around what time frame did you play for his team? Was that like a couple of years ago? I started playing with them in like twenty twenty. Okay. 2019. And uh, did you get recruited to play for that team? Did you have to try out? Yeah, we had to try out. Okay. And uh, how how many games do y'all play when y'all play on that team? How many games y'all play in the season? We probably had like eight tourneys. Okay. So you uh what team you still play for that team now? What team you play for now? I'm really looking for a team right now. Oh, okay. Are you gonna play with your middle school team? Yes, sir. All right. So I know uh you got a lot of trainers and stuff, man, as far as uh, you know, uh keeping your game on point and things like that. You know, uh uh, just kind of list some of the awards that you uh won so far from uh playing basketball. You said what again? Um, kind of uh li uh name some of the awards that you've um uh, um received since you've been playing basketball. Awards I I received a lot of awards. I won a lot of championships, MVP medals. A lot of this stuff. And um, well, uh, around what time frame did you start receiving awards for basketball? Like, how old were you? Four. Four. Yeah. What uh, what you love about basketball the most? The people. You, know, you like uh, interacting with the other kids and stuff. Yeah, I meet a I meet a lot of people like my coaches, my trainers, Rondo, Tim, Hood, my my dad, my mom, Bobel, and my coach that coach for Team Scoop, Coach Jamal. Okay. So, um, who's your favorite player in the, uh, in the NBA? Who you like watching? I like to watch Trey Young, John Morant, and De'Aaron Fox. Okay. Do so you play point guard? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, well, what are, uh, do you uh, want to go – play uh college ball and um eventually try to get to the NBA in the future. Yeah. That's my goal. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna play on uh any um AAU teams this year coming up? 
yeah, Team Scoop, Team Bo Bell. And that's, yeah, for real. And probably the Atlanta Celtics. Okay. And uh, how tall are you right now? Like five foot one. Okay. Yeah, you should hit a growth spurt soon. Yeah, I should. I need one. Yeah, I know I hit uh I know I hit a growth spurt. Um I was like five eight for the longest when I was playing basketball. And my junior year I had a growth spurt from like five eight to like six three in one summer. That's tall. Well, that's a huge growth spurt. Yeah, that's kind of normal though. If you got a lot of people that's uh tall in your family. I know my grandparents was tall, so that's where I got my height from. But as far as uh, how often do you train during the week? Probably like six out of seven days a week, constantly. Like I got, I stack my days. So you do two a days, or is it like once a day? It's two days sometimes and one day sometimes. Is it mainly uh, in the afternoon when you get out of school? Sometimes in the morning and sometimes when I'm out of getting out of school. Okay. So um, as far as um, this year, um, are you going to um, try out for your middle school team or are you just going to keep playing on the uh, AUs and things like that? Yeah, I'm going to try out for my middle school team because I'm a new player there. So, and I'm an athlete, so I want to try out for everything I can. And uh, what school are you going to right now? Fair play middle. Okay. Are, are they known for basketball? Not really. They're known for baseball. Okay. So, uh, what's um, what's the most points you scored in a game? Forty. Forty. How, how old was you when you scored that? Scored that forty? Eleven. Oh, that was recently. Yeah, that was the championship game. I dropped forty. Yeah. Hey, how, how many? How many points did the team score? <laughs> Like sixty, probably. No, oh, it sounded like you had a majority of the points. I had, they only had twenty. Oh yeah, so you already the uh, best player on your team. Yeah, sure. Working, I'm just getting better every day. Work. Uh, off the top of your head, uh, I know you uh, in those AAU leagues and different uh, attorneys and stuff. Uh, it's a lot of good competition. Uh, um, who's the best player you played against so far that you can remember? Oh, it's a lot of them. The team in Columbus. Wow. I would say. Team Phenom, they had a good player. Yeah, he he played the same position as you. Yeah, we was in Tampa. No, oh, okay. we was going at it though. Oh, y'all was trading buckets. Yeah, I ain't never gonna let nobody win the fight. <laughs> so, um, as far as um, when did you um? really grow a passion for basketball? Or was it like when you first started playing or was it as you got older? So I started having a passion because my dad had a basketball team and I would just see people playing basketball and I grab a basketball one day and I'm left and I just start dribbling the ball with my left hand. So my dad just started putting me in leagues and, I, and that's where it went from. Okay. So uh when when's uh when's basketball season start this year? Um, I think around September. Hey, you probably starts in like 
August. I'm not August. Um, January. But school ball starts in September. So what you want to accomplish this year? Uh, what's your uh, what you want to get better at? Um, first let's go to school. My grades. I want to get all A's this year. And I dropped forty points when I was eleven. I want to drop sixty. <laughs> I think that's very that's very manageable. That's only twenty more points. So, um, when you're training, uh, what are you working on? Like, are you uh, working on, you know, your shooting, your dribbling, your defense, or well, what are you? My working? right hand, my right hand, and my dribbling, my shooting, like getting my form together. I work on. Defense, my shifting is my speed, my agility. I work on everything to get better, like every day. Have uh have Rondo uh gave you uh any type of advice when you was playing on his team or any uh good uh praise? A lot, actually. Oh well, what what's the type of thing? Uh, just um, say a couple things that he said about you as a player. He tell me to keep talking, keep being the dog you are, keep going. He told me a lot of things, like, and I really appreciate him. That's what's up. I know that has to be a, uh, a inspiration, uh, especially at the age you are, knowing that uh, he's played in the NBA, you know, against uh, some of the best players to ever play in the NBA, and for you to have access to him as a coach. And to play on his team because you know a lot of people that's uh, around your age don't don't um, have access to uh, re to a resource like that. Yeah, when I first saw him, I was like, "Oh, I just met him. I just met Rondo." Then I just kept seeing him. I'm like, "Oh, he's my coach." So it got normal to me, but it's still good to see him. And uh. Uh, what age groups is his team? Are you still going to play on his team this year, or are you too old? Well, I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, so I really can't play on the team. They're in Louisville. Oh, okay. But when I go back home, I play with them. Like, they still my team. Team 9, Rondo Elite, I still play with them. Have you, have you found a good AAU team out there, or are you still looking for one? I found one. Um I'm being called from a lot of places, so everywhere is good in the land. So I just want to keep going. My I got a um, team scoop. Scoop, you know who Scoot Henderson is? Uh, it sounds familiar. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. He just got drafted second pick with Wimby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That's his team. Oh, okay. I ain't know he had a team already. Yeah. He's playing with Puma, so we did Puma stuff and stuff. Okay. So uh, what uh, what people can expect from you this, this season for basketball? You know, what – uh. What type of stats you gonna put up? What you uh? For me to drop sixty. You gonna you gonna average twenty points a game? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, I know your dad showed me all your accolades and stuff. You know that's a uh, you well ahead ahead of your age for as far as uh basketball years as far as um your progression you know a lot of a lot of people um it's not as good as at as you as basketball early like that a lot of people get it later on like when they get to high school and things like that because my coach Tim Barnett he taught me a lot of he had me playing with older people at Focus Academy, I mean, one with older kids. And from there, I just, just like, that's why, that's why I got better at 
like the competition that I know I have to do some of that. I was getting bullied, so I did some I practice every day and I got better all the time. Uh, what you like about the trainers that you work with? They stay on me. They don't give up on me like that. They stay on me, and that's one thing I like. Well, it's good to uh, – main thing in sports is having that discipline, so it's good to see that you got the discipline early to uh, train every day. Plus, you know, going to practice for uh, when you got when you playing on other teams and things like that, because you know that's gonna um, separate you from a lot of players. Because a lot of a lot of players be talented, but you know they don't do the little things as far as going to practice every day or continue to know uh, work on their game. Yeah, a lot of people don't go to practice, but I just try to stack my days. Well, um, well, I hope you uh you're able to accomplish your goal of going to the uh well first you know get through school, getting recruited by uh some Division one schools, going to college, and then having a chance to go to the NBA. You know that's a, a realistic goal if you just you know um keep doing what you're doing, keep getting better. And just keep uh, staying disciplined, you know. Um, I know a couple of people that I played against in high school uh, went to the NBA. So, you know, it's very realistic. You just have to uh, separate you separate yourself from your, your peers. Yes, sir. But, um, yeah, I appreciate you coming on the show. I'm going to uh, insert a couple of your uh, basketball highlights so people can uh, see you playing in actual games and things like that. And, uh, yeah, uh, you're the first little kid in a while, you know, that I've seen with that many accolades for basketball. You know, that's not that's not a normal thing. You know, that don't happen that often. Thanks, and thank you for having me.